Hello people, in this video we want to look at this uh, terminology UNICEF. So UNICEF actually stands for United Nations Children's Fund. Earlier it was called as United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund but then once they achieved their goals looks like they removed the emergency word and now it is just United Nations Children's Fund but this um, short form still remains UNICEF. Okay. So what is UNICEF? United Nations Children's Fund. In the exam they will ask you what are the activities in India child nutrition, child health, improving child survival functions of UNICEF. These are the questions that they will ask. So United Nations Children's Fund, which was earlier United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, it is one of the specialized agencies of the United Nations. Do you know the other specialized agencies of the United Nations? Yes, WHO. So it was established in 1946, very similar to WHO. Isn't it? WHO also uh, same, uh, the constitution was drafted in 19... Uh, 46 yes so uh, who uh, uh, established this the United Nations General Assembly so are you paying attention guys United Nations uh, specialized agency so many are there one of them is UNICEF when did this come in 1946 okay they established this to rehabilitate the children in war ravaged countries how sad right so for these children who were uh, from these war ravaged countries they wanted to rehabilitate them so for that, for that reason, this was established. So that is why that emergency, all right, word. Then in 1953, looks like they established everything. And uh, when the emergency functions were over, the General Assembly gave it a new name, the United Nations Children's Fund. But the initials were retained like UNICEF, okay. So where is uh, UNICEF in um, the headquarters of UNICEF, uh, the international one? The, uh, it is in New York, okay. This is actually, you will get this photo for many things of United Nations. So... Uh, this is uh, UNICEF at United Nations, um, New York. So this is actually United Nations, this photograph. So the headquarters, where is, where is it of UNICEF in New York? Guys, are you paying attention? What are we looking at? UNICEF. Okay, so uh, UNICEF um, regional office in India. Where is it in India? New Delhi. Okay, New Delhi. And we are in South Central Asian region. See, um, when it comes to UNICEF, which we are reading currently, where is India coming? In South Central Asian region. When it comes to WHO, we are in which region? S-E-A-R. That is Southeast Asian region. So here it is S-E-A-R. Here it is SCARP. S-C-A-R. Like South Central Asian region looks like. Okay. Um, so where, what, what are the other countries covered? A lot of other countries are there. If you want, you can remember. So this uh, UNICEF is governed by 36 nation executive board. As in 2010. Oh, wait, let's take the updated one then. Guys, even in the website, as of now, it is 36 member states itself. So we will, so that was the correct information that we saw. So 36 nation executive board. Do you know executive board is there in WHO also? In that 34 were there, right? In UNICEF, there are 36. I'm not trying to confuse you, but you should not get confused. They will ask you WHO and they'll ask UNICEF also in the exam. So you should know what to write where. Both of these have executive boards, right? Even this has executive boards, even this has executive board. Last what we saw was 34 um, people in this executive board. In UNICEF looks like 36, okay? If you see both were also started 1946 only, okay? Interestingly, in the 2021 executive board, I don't see India's name here, okay? So what are we looking at people? UNICEF, this is the website unicef.org, what we do. So they do something, they also deal with adolescent, child, adolescent, child with disability, child survival, every right, child ha has the right to survive and thrive, early childhood development, HIV, AIDS, immunization, nutrition, health, water, sanitation, hygiene, education, social policy, every child has the right to an equitable chance in life. UNICEF in emergencies, reaching every child in emergencies. Gender. Every girl has the right to fulfill her potential. Innovation for child. This is going on and on. Supply and logistics. Research and analysis. They are doing more UNICEF to explore. Okay. So we are done with just this first slide and looking at the website. We have lots more. Okay. Look at this. 
so basically unicef works in clo co in close collaboration with who okay and it also works uh, with other specialized agencies of the UN united nations like undp fao and unesco so under united nations you have lot of things right under united nations you have so many specialized organizations specialized agencies you saw who now you are seeing unicef like this looks like there are many uh, specialized agencies like undp that is united De nation development program then you have fao that is food and agricultural organization then you have unesco uh, this is unesco is uh, educational scientific cultural organization so you can say united nations education scientific cultural organization so all these people work in close collaboration understood right that's it let's move to the next slide see now this they have a concept of whole child okay guys whole child means uh, they not only give health and nutrition you don't just looking at the nutrition 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 but they want long term personal development development of the country is also in which these children live in so they have a country health program so they want to be, uh, improve the country itself for these children not just health and nutrition so remember to write whole child okay whole child content of services child health nutrition health and nutrition they said they will cover but more than that they want to do so what they want to do family child welfare education formal and non formal everything they want to do what and all they want to do guys health nutrition always they wanted to then what they said will improve the country in which they are living personal development long term so what they have to give family development education which is formal and non formal and then what else child welfare you have to add one word content of services so child health what and all they will do guys this you can write of okay, right okay if you know the heading you can write child health what will they do vaccination what vaccination bcg vaccination right so immunization you will write then they have some manufacturing plant for triple vaccine they have some penicillin plant this is all about india okay iodide salt reduce the child illness death improve the quality of life primary health care to mothers and children family planning safe water and you will have so many resident volunteers and primary health workers etc standard things you write okay nothing just remember the heading child health okay next let's move on to child nutrition so people where are we we have finished um, child health right now we are moving on to child nutrition so in this what they are saying you know some keywords you just remember you should improve the child nutrition you supplement feeding program protein rich mix food mixtures okay then uh, fao you know food agriculture organization these uh, people collaborate with everybody right so they add a, um, some applied nutrition program agricultural extension so that's good right agriculture so food and agriculture yes then um, what else is there large dose of vitamin a wherever there is erythelmia wherever there is endemic goiter give iodine salt okay I iodized salt folate to combat uh, anemia iron and folate you should give all that you should write in the exam if they ask about unicef you will write child health then you will write child nutrition now child nutrition over next we will go to what family and ch child welfare so initially itself they said right now it's not about children we want personal development development of the country where they are living in etc right so they want to do parent education daycare center women's clubs okay so these are not separate but they are integrated looks like a part of everything okay let's after this what is the fourth one guys fourth one is education formal and non formal so in education what and all you should write guys formal and informal pay attention guys we finished what and all we finished child health we finished child nutrition then we finished uh, what family family uh, family and what welfare was it we look at that and now we have come to education in which you have formal and informal right non formal okay a uh, family and child welfare it was child remember the word child okay so here in education what and all they are telling now you should improve improvement of teaching science a uh, scientific laboratory laboratory so every school will have a small lab you know but they will show you all the beakers and small small experiments where they can do workshops you should have library you should have with lot of books then you should have audio visual aids so if you're just reading without looking at it that's bad right so you should have some audio visual aids like they are going to show you some things or you hear and learn okay just write a lot about this okay then we are done with the four things what four things we are done okay now you have to move on to something called as gobi fff so if they ask unicef in the exam you'll have to write all these terminology 
So, what is this Gobi FFF? So, uh, G for growth charts, O for oral rehydration, B for breastfeeding, I for immunization. Immunization for what? Measles, diphtheria, polio, pertussis, tetanus, tuberculosis. So, as soon as the baby is born, they will give tuberculosis, BCG vaccine. Polio always you will write in India. Measles, uh, you will, uh, measles you remember. Diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus is DPT. It's always combined together, right? So, just remember measles, all the, you can write off all the immunizations of the first year almost, okay? First year of the baby, okay? FFF, now they have added FFF. What is FFF? Family pa planning, female education, food supplement. They said, right, it is not only about health and nutrition. Now they want to extend. So, what they want to give? They want to give education, family planning, food supplement. Food supplement again comes in nutrition. So, what, how will you say this? Gobi FFF. What is G O B I? FFF, it is nothing to do with Gobi Manchuri, it is FFF, what is it? G for growth, O for re ORS, re or rehydration, B for breastfeeding, I for immunization, F for family planning, F for uh, female education and F for, come on, you can say it, food supplement, very good. So, you got Gobi FFF, very good. So, um, so what is this? Four strategies for child health revolution. What is this? Gobi campaign. So, guys, we are done with Gobi FFF. Now, we will move on. Uh, there is something also called as urban basic service. Basic services means what? Water supply. Okay. Health, nutrition, water supply, sanitation, education, this much you write. Okay. These are basic. 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 UBS means urban basic services. Urban. When you are living in urban. Everybody needs uh, even in rural. But anyways, health, nutrition, water, sanitation. Then Education, did we say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 5 things are there. Yeah, these are examples. You can write a lot of other things. Okay. So, just remember urban basic services. Next. This is the last slide. Last slide, guys, of UNICEF. So, um, assisting in short, in short, UNICEF activities covers programs assisting child survival, protection and development. Child should survive. It should get protected. It should develop education of girls, drinking water, birth spacing. That is family planning, you can say. Infant feeding practices, immunization, growth monitoring, all the Gobi, FFF, everything they have mixtured and they have put one ending here. Let's take a recap of what we have seen in this video on UNICEF. UNICEF was earlier United Nations International Children Emergency Fund. Once they finished the emergency activities because after war it came, they wanted to rehabilitate the children. Once the emergency situation was over, in 1953 it became United Nations Children's Fund. But they still retained the beautiful uh, uh, short form UNICEF. Okay, so we have to, in the exam they will ask you activities in India, etc. So just write all this. Uh, when was it established? 1946. For rehabilitation of children in war ravaged countries. In 1953, the emergency functions were over. The new name United Nations Children Fund was given, but the initials were retained. Um, we have the, the headquarters of United, uh, UNICEF is in the United Nations in the, in New York. So headquarters is where at the United Nations in the, in New York. They had 36 nations on the executive board. We are in the South Central Asian region. The regional office is New Delhi, very similar to the WHO one. In WHO one, instead of central, it will come as east, southeast Asian region it will come. Okay. Here it is south central in UNICEF. Okay. Remember there's a C child. So you can remember central like that. And the region office is New Delhi, same for both WHO and uh, UNICEF. Okay. So, uh, it works in close collaboration with other specialized agencies of United Nations. So, UNICEF is a specialized agency of Un uh, United Nations. Uh, which are the other specialized agencies? Uh, UNDP, United Nations Development Program, FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, UNESCO, uh, this is United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization. So, all these people together work. You have to write all this in the exam to get marks. Then, Okay, so there is something called as a whole child. Okay, whole child means what? Um, not only health and nutrition, long-term personal development, development of the country in which they live also, and family and child welfare, education, formal, non-formal, etc. Content of services, four things you have to write. Child health, child nutrition, family and child welfare, education, formal and non-formal. Four things you have to write. In child health, you will mention everything, immunization, you have to develop manufacturing plants for these uh, vaccines, you have to give iodized salt, you have to reduce the illness, deaths, you have to reduce primary health care for mothers, 
safe water, primary health workers, residents, uh, volunteers you should have etc. Then coming to nutrition guys, what will you write? Supplementary feeding, protein rich mixtures, uh, vitamin A doses, uh, iodized salt, iron and folic acid to combat anemia etc. And as it is nutrition, you can collaborate with that food and agricultural organization, isn't it? Coming to family and child welfare, see they just don't want the child, they want even the family to develop, the country in which to, they are to develop. So parents also education, daycare centers, women's clubs etc. Then coming to education formal and non-formal, you should have nice schools, you should improve teaching science, you should have laboratories in the schools, you should have workshops, you should have library, you should have audio visual aids, not just book, book, book reading. Okay. Then Gobi FFF, very important and UNICEF if they ask, you should mention in your exam, if they ask UNICEF, you will mention Gobi FFF, G-O-B-I, FFF, G for growth, O for ORS. B for breastfeeding, I for immunization, like right all the first year whatever vaccines when immunization is given, F for family planning, F for female education and F for food supplement, write all these okay. And then coming to uh, urban basic services, this also you have to mention, urban basic services means what do you want, water, supply, sanitation, uh, health, nutrition, education, all that you write okay. Then lastly they are saying summary of everything. So this is what you will write in the exam if they ask about UNICEF, UNCF, okay, United Nations Children's Fund. They will ask you activities in India, just write the same thing, okay. As such, specifically textbook did not say, let us see it. As such for India, what they are saying, basic toilets, clean water, hygiene. Then currently it is talking a lot about COVID. Adolescent also, they want to develop child and adolescent. Then they need volunteers to help them. They want people to join UNICEF. Okay. So this is what is there in the India page. So here you have the India page. See unicef.org slash India. Something like take action. If you go on it, children's rights, we speak out current vaccines. No guys, that is current vacancies. You can work with them if you want. They are looking for volunteers. Okay. See you in the next video guys. Bye bye.